Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. I like writing and creating passages of text, both long and short. However, like many of you, I can find myself in a hurry sometimes rushing to get to the next urgent task. And the quality of a text that I produce can suffer for this. Now, this is why I use an online grammar checking service called Grammarly to help keep my text in check. Now you can use Grammarly on all of your devices. There are applications and plugins available for Mac OS, as well as an iOS application as well, which is what I'm gonna to cover today. So I've got the application pre-downloaded and I'm just gonna open it for the first time. I'll just tap get started and we're taken to a screen that prompts us to sign in. Now you don't need a Grammarly account to use the application. I must stress that you can use it anonymously as there is a, may I say, very small not now button in the bottom right hand corner. I do think it's best though at this stage to create an account at the outset as this will give us an easy way to look at the current pricing tiers within Grammarly. I'm gonna show you the basic functionality that Grammarly has to offer, but there is a premium and a business option too, which we'll get to. I could use a Google or Facebook account to federate sign in with Grammarly. However, I like creating my own accounts via email. So I'll tap that and now I'll just fill in my basic email address, password and name. I tap sign up and the account gets created. I'm prompted here to save my password in iCloud Keychain. Let's just deal with that. Now, once your account is created, you'll be prompted to set up your device. Now, Grammarly works by utilizing a third party keyboard. So when you type in your text, in order for Grammarly to start checking it, you're gonna to need to be doing this on the Grammarly keyboard. Now it's easy enough to set up and you do get walk through it. So to start, I'll just tap add Grammarly keyboard. Then it's keyboard. Then I'll tap the keyboards button at the top here. Now I need to add a new keyboard, so I'll tap that. And in the middle, the Grammarly keyboard's now available, seeing as I've installed the application. And then I'm just gonna switch across back to the Grammarly application. Now I'm recording this on an iPad Pro with the Apple Smart Keyboard case. And Grammarly has picked this up. Basically, it's not gonna function properly unless I use the Grammarly on-screen keyboard. So I'm just gonna undock my keyboard now. And instructions appear that show how to switch to the Grammarly keyboard. I'll tap the keyboard switcher, which is shown by the emoji face in the bottom left hand corner and select the Grammarly keyboard. The last thing we need to do is to allow full access to the Grammarly keyboard. This is because it requires internet access to perform the grammar and punctuation checks. It spells out the instructions again. So if I just tap go there, this will take me straight to the config setting that I need. I just need to tap keyboards and then flick the switch to allow full access. Once again, I'll flip back across to Grammarly and this time we can see that setup is complete. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up-to-date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.